Barakti Yahawa Brakata Yahusha Barakti Yahawa Brakata Yahusha Ba Hashem Raka Kodash Double honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Yahweh and Yahusha. Same mind, different bodies. Lord Will, you are edified. Video was inspired by a video from <clears throat> the YouTube platform GMS South Carolina 08, the platform of Elder Monatazak. Video entitled Half Naked Christian Gets Stripped by 100% 100, 100 Truth. Lord Will, you are edified. And behold, one like the Son of Man came with the cloud of heaven. Right. Satan was in one of the clouds of heaven, which are people down here say UFO, chariot of the Lord. Go ahead. And he came to the ancient of David. So the elder is explaining to the guy or guys that Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are two different individuals. He came to the ancient of days. He came to his father. Go ahead. And they brought him near before him. Right. So the heavenly father is in his throne and then the savior comes and visits him. That's right there in the book of Daniel 7, 13. Are you still going to argue that the savior and his father are the same being? You can't. You got to admit it, man. The same essence. And they're not. And let's prove that. Let's further prove that. <clears throat> this is Luke chapter 1 and verse 25. Thus has the Lord Yahweh dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me. Me referring to Mary, the mother of Yahweh Shai, to take away my reproach among men. Right? Verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from the Most High unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, right? So wait a minute. This angel named Gabriel was sent from Yahweh. okay? God is another title for Yahweh. And in the Hebrew, it's Allah, which means power, judges, or rulers. Okay, verse 27, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's, virgin's name was Mary. <clears throat> and the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with you, blessed are you among women. And when he saw him, it's like, and when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation there should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with the Most High. And behold, you shall conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yahweh Shai. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. Okay, and if you can receive this, Yahweh Shah was King Solomon. But the point is, the Lord power shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. This account alone, or so like if this account alone proves what? That Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are different, right? Let's go to John chapter 
17 and verse 1. These words spoke Yahweh Shah and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify your son, that your son also may be glorified. As you have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. This further proves what? That Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are different. Okay? Question Who was Yahweh Shai praying to? Verse 3 And this is life eternal, that they might know that. It's like it, that they might know you, the only true power, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach, whom you have sent. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you gave me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify you, me, with your own self, with the glory which I had with you before the world was further proves what that Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are separate entities. Luke chapter 2 and verse 48. And when they saw him, the parents of Yahweh, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why have you thus dealt with us? Behold, your father and I have sought you sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that you sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business. Father's business, referring to Yahweh's business, okay? Concerning teaching this doctrine, okay? <clears throat> Revelation 5 and 1, and I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne, Yahweh, right? A book written within the scriptures and on the backside sealed with seven seals and I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof and no man in heaven nor in earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon and I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book neither to look thereon and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals, to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, <clears throat> And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. So Yahweh Shai took the scriptures from Yahweh. Can't get around it. Psalm 110 and verse 1, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord Yahweh Shah, sit you at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. Let's go to Acts chapter 7. Now this is going into the account when Stephen had rebuked the wicked Pharisees, right? And of course, he was murdered for the truth. Acts 7 and 55, 
But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, Stephen, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of the Most High and Yahweh Shah standing on the right hand of the Most High. You can't get around that. This is Matthew chapter 3 and verse 15. And Yahweh answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it become us to fulfill our righteousness. Then he suffered him. Okay, and the hymn is referring to John the Baptist. Okay, and he was about to do what? Let's find out. And Yahweh when he was baptized, so he baptized Yahweh went up straightway out of the water, meaning he stood up. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of the Most High descending like a dove and lighting on him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, and whom I am well pleased. Further proof that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are different entities. Second Ezra 2 and 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowns them and gives them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Can't get around it. Matthew chapter 27 and verse 42 down. Let's start at verse 41. Likewise, also the chief priests mocking him with the scribes and elders said, He saved others himself, he cannot save. Going into the crucifixion of Yahweh, if he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him. He trusted in the Most High, let him deliver him now if he will. He trusted in the Most High, let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the Son of the Most High. Two different entities. The thieves also, which were crucified with him, cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Yahweh cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Lama, Sabbatini. That is to say, my power, my power, why have you forsaken me? So who was Yahweh praying to? Who was he talking to? His father. So now, after all these precepts, John 10 and 30, I am my father are one, meaning what? Same mindset, different bodies. Lord will, you were edified, shalom.